Hello everybody, and today I have a little different video. Well, not a different video. Ah, scrap it, scrap it, get rid of it. Okay. Hello everybody, and um, hope everyone's doing okay and staying safe. But today we are doing a video about the Whistler WS1010WP analog scanner. Uh, you can pick these up at Walmart, and these retail for about $80. But I got this one on sale for about half off because they were getting rid of them and got some unit in scanners in. Um, important thing to note, I saw there was not a good number of videos about these type of radios, these uh, receivers on YouTube. I figured it'd be smart to kind of show y'all some of the things about them. So, you know, first off, $80, okay, and it's just a receiver, doesn't transmit or anything, okay? Uh, it covers all of your ham bands and I'll go over that with you. But we're gonna go over what it comes with. So first off, we got our little instruction manual, you know, everything it comes with, kind of displays it right there, but I'll go over that. Um, and also, whenever you purchase this radio, you will have to keep your receipt because your receipt has a code that allows you to actually use the scanner. So whenever I purchase this, I had to get my receipt and the number that was printed off on the bottom of it and enter it on this to actually activate the radio. So that is one thing I must take note of. Get that out of here. And so here is kind of the main gist of the radio. Kind of just says it all right there. You know, just 400 channel, you know, very high frequency air UHF radio scanner. Um, so for $80, it's kind of what you got here. You got actual receiver. It has a BNC connector antenna. It's pretty short, probably about six and a half, seven inches. And it will just go, snaps right on like a BNC clip. Uh, one thing I did notice about this radio, despite it being $80, it is actually very good plastic. Well, I guess you expect that for $80, but main thing why it's $80 is it's not a digital receiver, so. You will probably not pick up police, ambulance, all those type of radios because those are using digital trunk signals and this here is just an analog receiver. But this is good for a few things and I'll get to that in a minute. So, box, pretty big box. And so, whenever you get this radio, you have to take that out right there. It has for uh, normal batteries, little battery tray. But it also comes with, opens a little box right here, this little battery tray here for uh, rechargeable batteries so you get those rechargeable double A's and it takes four of them I'm right four of them I believe I'm right and then it comes with uh, AC power cord which I never use because I just use the batteries I don't have any of those rechargeable batteries but it would be more ideal if you're going to be consistently using this so let's kind of get into the closer look at the radio now all right so starting off right here once you have your batteries in Got right here you see you got your squelch right here uh, headphone jack and your volume and power so you just tip this on and once you do that should come on it's not a backlit screen but you can but we have a button down here right here that will actually light it up for you and it's a yellow orange color it looks a little brighter on the video and you see if you just press it it goes off after about 10 seconds roughly um, so I have some channels programmed in here that I kind of use around my local area. Uh, there's nothing too great about these. You probably won't even hear anything on a normal basis. But the best thing this here is for is for your weather. So I go to weather has a little button right here. So right here, just a little button for the has like a little cloud with a thunderstorm there. And PM Central Daylight Time. Here are the 4 p.m. South Texas weather observations. So it has your seven channels. Yeah, so that's about all this radio is really good for. All right, so I hope y'all kind of get a very basic idea of this radio. Um, if you're big into radio and a ham operator or looking for a, a better radio, I really just su suggest a Baofeng, you know, UVR5. Those go for about 20, 25 bucks on Amazon. I know you may not want to get stuff from China right now, but if you're really just looking for a cost-effective radio that will transmit well, receive well, and, you know, 
do your weather functions pretty much is the main reason why I use my Veil thing. Um, it does that job very well and has a rechargeable battery and comes with all that and everything. This here, you gotta buy the batteries. Of course, it's better to buy the rechargeable batteries, but then that's another thing you have to buy alongside the radio, you know. And this just being, you know, $80 radio and whatever, 400 channels, the bail fan can easily, you know, I'll do it. It's a lot cheaper too. Of course, it's Chinese and you may not want to do that, and that's, I understand that. But, you know, this right here is made in the Philippines, so it's not Chinese, okay? So, like I said, very good plastic. Uh, you know, I would go over how to program it, but that takes a little bit of time. You kind of have to learn, you know, and the instructions go through that very well. So it's probably better you do that instead. So I hope you enjoyed this video, learned a little something, maybe kind of made a decision if you've seen this. If it's on sale and you want to go for it and you don't mind losing the money and feel cheated out on it, then that's fine. I give this radio about like, you know, a four out of ten. You know, it should be cheaper. It should be, but, you know. That just one of those things because there isn't as much use for an analog scanner anymore and does not you know transmit of course it's a receiver so i hope you enjoyed this video and i hope to see you all next time